Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about Akimbo weapons coming to Destiny 2. But before we go any further, if you guys want to be with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like and leave a comment. Details are on screen now. Okay, so over the past few days, I've seen numerous videos posted on YouTube. I've seen numerous posts dropped on Reddit. I've seen quite a few tweets on Twitter talking about Akimbo weapons coming to Destiny 2. And I just want to give you guys my opinion on this. Now, as far as I'm aware, all this hype for Akimbo weapons have come from a line dropped by Mark Norsworthy while he was being interviewed by Gamertag Radio. He was asked about the new weapon system and how it works. Now he answered stating they chose to do it uh, this way due to giving us as players more freedom to set up how we want and the kinetic and energy weapons they may be interesting interactions with these weapons or between these weapons. Now I will say I believe that is it, that was all that was mentioned and somehow people have gotten to the conclusion that you can now have dual wielded weapons or akimbo weapons within Destiny 2. I don't know where they've got that from but yeah it is what it is. Now me personally I think it's a real bad idea and from what I've played of Destiny 2 so far both PvE and PvP it kind of goes against what they seem to have directed this game towards. Now for more so PvP wise here, while playing it I noticed it really slowed down compared to Destiny 1's PvP, I mean like seriously. Which I thought felt good and kinda new due to Destiny's mechanics not being like any other game that's current on the market now. Feeling it at this pace felt different but kinda good. Even the time to kill felt a lot slower, weapons didn't seem kitted out or able to be kitted out to land a ridiculous time to kill either. And seeing how perks may be adapted to our weapons, that perfect rolled OP2 heat hand cannon may not ever become a thing within Destiny 2, which I think is great and balances the field even further, which is how the game should be. I feel a lot of people will say, well I grinded years for this roll, I deserve to be able to two shot you. I'm sorry but that is bullshit. I've grinded more than most and I still ain't got that perfect Ice Luna and that's just a single example. The loot system in Destiny 2 is based off RNG. People who play PvP for the first time have a chance of getting that perfect world Ice Luna where people like me have played from day one still ain't got that shit. So if weapons are seriously condensed down perk wise, skill will and should be always needed for you to do good. Your KD shouldn't reflect your lock within the RNG loot pool and it's as simple as that. So like I said, taking such things out of the system will be a much better way to go for PvP in my opinion and will keep the game at a steady pace which I think is their goal. And back to the point, being able to dual wield a weapon to me goes against what Bungie want. In turn it transforms that standard sidearm, hand cannon, SMG into an absolute monster. It basically doubles the impact, the fire rate, the mag size and more or less allows you to kill twice as quick. Yes there are negatives for using akimbo weapons and they are normally range and no ADS which affects accuracy but still at close range they would just be silly. Now sidearms when I used them felt well kind of weak compared to how they feel in Destiny 1. Nowhere near as effective as what they are now. Same with every other weapon class I tried. Not completely useless just not as powerful. It takes more gun skill to kill it with every weapon so I thought. The major problems within Destiny 1 is secondaries and how much easier they made PvP just for the simple fact of how easy kills come with them. Shotguns once ruled PvP, snipers did too and now it's sidearms. Shotguns and snipers are now a part of the power weapon so expect to see them a lot less and with Bungie nerfing the crap out of sidearms too, as you can imagine the experience within Destiny 2's PvP is really different. Them throwing akimbo weapons into the balance goes against all what they have changed and what I believe they want for the game. And that's why I highly doubt we will see akimbo weapons within Destiny 2. Now I will state that I could be wrong and as you guys know Bungie have made stupid mistakes within the past. Will that end with Destiny 1 or will they continue over into Destiny 2? I mean if they do get added into Destiny 2 you can kind of see Activision have had more of an impact on the game. If you think about it grenade launchers, SMGs and now akimbo weapons. Next we will be war running and going back to World War 2. Please no, just no. This game cannot turn into COD, that would be an absolute nightmare. But in Bungie I do trust, and what I've played so far with Destiny 2, it felt super super great, it really did. But guys, that's what I think about Kimbo weapons. 
but would you welcome them? Let me know down below in that comment section. If your opinion is different to mine, that's completely fine. Just let me know. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hitting that like button is much appreciated on my behalf. If you enjoy what you see here and you are new here and want daily destiny, make sure you subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button and you will receive email notifications of when I drop a video on YouTube. But thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.